climbing over the fence. Spotted this like something out of a out of a James Bond film. Look on the ground. See that flashing? Don't know if you can see it flashing. Can't tell if it's picking it up. Ah, uh, that's weird, isn't it? Wonder what that is. It's just a a battery on it, and it's just a little flashing thing. It could be off a drone or something. There is, or maybe a mountain bike light. There is something there which looks like it might be a similar size. So it might be one of these water, like a little clip on flashing lights. I know someone that's going to play with that, hey Tyler? I'm going to go a bit further down. I think through this field down here, the other side of that field, and then we're significantly down the dip. I'll cut to a map now which shows you the sort of rough topography we're looking at. Uh, obviously, uh, I don't want to give away where I live, but uh, we can show you roughly uh, the topography anyway. Right, we're at the second location. I'll put up on the screen how far away this is. For the ACUF T23R, we're much lower down, so I don't know how well this is going to work. This is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the Yesu FT23R at the second location, much further away, down by the creek, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'd be amazed if that works from here. This is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the Yesu FT23R at the second location, much further away, down by the creek, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we've got the TSSD now, let's try this. This is G7 LNK Portable. This is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the TSSD at the second location, further away, down by the creek, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, let's try the Oli Wiz. This is G7 LNK Portal with the Oli Wiz at the second location further down in the dip. This is G7 LNK Portal with the Oli Wiz at the second location further down in the dip. A really good test for the Oli Wiz dip. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, now I think this is really going to struggle the T1. Look at the tiny antenna on that. Let's try it though. This is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the Baofeng T1 at the second location, much further down in the dip, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7 LNK Portable, G7 LNK Portable with the Baofeng T1 at the second location, much further down in the dip, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, the UV82 should cut the mustard. This is a good radio. Uh, I don't know how many of you have got one of these, but this is one of the, the, the better Baofeng radios. And it's got the slightly unusual, and it's got the dual PTT. So pressing the top of the button selects the top VFO. The bottom of the PTT will transmit on the lower one. So it can catch you out if you're not careful, but a really good little radio. Anyway, let's try it. This is G7 LNK Portable. This is G7 LNK Portable with the Baofeng, the Baofeng UV82, the original radio. At the second location, much further down the dip by the creek, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, the KG UVD 1P. I think this should make it in from here. Let's find out. This is G7 LNK Portable with the KG G7 LNK Portable with the KG UVD 1P at location two, down in the dip by the creek, much further away this time. Testing one two three four five five four three two one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, we got the SQ800, the Shikun, uh, basically a triple eight, I think, but you know, quite an unusual looking radio. Now let's try it, see if it works. This is G7 LNK Portable with the Shikun SQ800 at the second location, down by the creek, down in the dip, much further away, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Shikun. This is G7 LNK Portable with the Shikun SQ800 at the second location, down by the creek, down in the dip, much further away, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. 
Right, the WLN KDC1. Now, this is really going to struggle, I think, at that at this distance down in the dip. But we're going to give it a try and see if it works. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable with the WLN. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable with the WLN KDC1. At the second location, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The this brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, okay, I think we're done there. I hope you enjoyed that. I think that was a, a bit more of a test for these radios uh, from this distance. So it'll uh, be interesting to see when we get the SDR software and, uh, and download that and put it on the video. You'll have already seen it by this point, obviously, uh, but it'd be interesting for me to see how well they have done. And I think this would be much more of a test. Initially, uh, when I tested the first radio on VHF, the FD23R, it was a much weaker signal down here so this is much more of an acid test so anyway we'll uh i mean you be the judge anyway you have a look through all the radios you've seen so far and see which you think would be suit your best suit your needs the best in terms of form factor price and performance on these videos obviously these videos are not a scientific test and uh, unfortunately they have to be conducted in some less than great conditions but when you're out and about it's going to be windy going to be noisy isn't it so uh, you know, I think it's a fair test in that respect. Okay, I'm going to do another test. I've got more radios to test, believe it or not, and uh, we're going to come out here again. I think we'll come to these two locations, and then we're going to test all of the radios in one go. Don't worry, you won't be looking at me all the time. In one go, really quick fire, and then you can get to see just who's sort of king of the budget radios, I suppose. Uh, I say, and I say that very loosely, obviously, because there's pros and cons with all of them anyway. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you're really bored, check out all my other videos on the channel. The more you watch them, the more videos I can make because the money I get from them pays for the videos that I'm going to make. Like the 888 videos had half a million views and that's kind of funded pretty much all of the radios that you've seen since that video has been made. So uh, the more you watch, the more, video, the more uh, stuff I can buy and the more fun we can have. Right, you stay safe everyone. You really, I really mean that. Stay safe. Look after your friends and family and your neighbours. We'll speak to you soon. We'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye. Right, and this little chap has got something to say. What would that be, Tyler? Like, subscribe, hit the bell and stay safe. That's a boy. Cheers. Say Bye. 73. 73.